Time now for First Alert Weather with meteorologist Kyle Kleckner. Well, welcome back and thanks again for joining us this Thursday morning. Kind of a chilly morning out there when you factor that wind in, but temperatures don't look too bad. Got those temps in the 40s right now. Good chance of rain throughout the morning, so maybe not the best of days to be heading out to the park or any out the rack too. Might have a better chance this afternoon once the rain does clear out, but still, even though have some cloud cover, some strong winds this afternoon, temperatures will climb into the 50s for a lot of us later on. Although right now, here at taking a live look at McCool Junction, some rain on our VR wireless camera there. 48 degrees though, a north northwesterly wind at seven miles an hour too. So again, a lot of rain out there this morning, at least in our southeast areas. Again, these the cloud cover, the rain actually hit, held up our temperatures in the 40s for most of us right now. You some 50s right now in Hebron and Lincoln. Off to our north and west, though, so we see 30s, 36 right now in Ainsworth. Meanwhile, O'Neill at 39, 45 at Kearney and McCook at the moment, too. So, again, temperatures, we got a good spread out there. Should see those highs in the 40s and 50s later on this afternoon. Unfortunately, these winds are a little breezy right now, 5 to 15 miles an hour at most spots. They're going to pick up this afternoon even more. Again, we can see some winds of, say, 10 to 20 miles an hour, even 20 to 30 miles an hour in the forecast. So we could see some gusts a little stronger than that, too. So, again, a breezy afternoon on the way, and there is that rainfall right now. Most of it concentrated kind of along I-80 between the Tri-Cities and Lincoln at the moment, and even a couple of heavier bands of rain in the mix here as well. Got another little uh, thunderstorm even in the Belleville area right now too. We get a closer look at some of this on a Viper radar. A couple heavier bands of rain and around say York cool junction like we just saw there in our camera. Just to the south of Seward. In fact just to the northeast of Central City maybe up near the Silver Creek area. So again we got some rain out there this morning even a thunderstorm around the Belleville area. Quickly work its way off to the northeast out of our coverage area at the moment but still we could uh, maybe see a Lightning flash this morning. Maybe hear a few rumbles of thunder out there as well. Well, there is that low pressure system. It's provided us all this rain here in the overnight hours. Actually, had some tornado reports down in northeast Kansas last night near Topeka. So, again, most of that severe weather missed us to the south. We got some beneficial rainfall out of this system. Again, we'll see rain continuing throughout the morning hours, probably lasting in the early afternoon hours. Should see things clear out later on this afternoon, more so tonight. High pressure builds in for tomorrow. We got things drying out for us and really clearing out those skies as well. Lots of sunshine in the forecast. After today, the only other thing in the forecast, the next couple of days that we're really even looking at is a cold front coming through on Saturday. It's going to cool our temperatures down on St. Patrick's Day Sunday. So again, otherwise, well, rain activity out there today. 52 for an afternoon high, a little cooler than yesterday. Obviously a little windy too. 33 for a load tonight. Chance of showers maybe early then becoming partly cloudy overnight as that high pressure builds in. And sunshine returning for tomorrow. See a high around 55 and a little less windy, a little warmer too. Temperatures again 40s and 50s around the area today. We see lows back down to the 20s and 30s for tonight. Still kind of a mild night considering it still is March, but still temperatures tomorrow a little bit warm. Most of us seeing highs in the 50s around the area. Temperatures a little warmer yet for us on Saturday. Again, we'll see upper 50s, low 60s before that cold front does come on through. Again, probably Saturday afternoon, Saturday night sometime. Maybe early Sunday morning, those temperatures are going to be falling throughout the day, potentially on St. Patrick's Day. Otherwise, temperatures after Sunday looking really nice for us. Back up in the mid-60s, right on time for spring. Staying warm, maybe into the middle of next week. I love the graphic. I love the temperatures. Yeah. Just ready for spring. I think a lot of people will be dancing like that leprechaun for those temperatures next week. I think so, too. I certainly will. <laughs> Thanks, Kyle. You got it.